Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading Scorpio and pull your overarching energy. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux to pull your tarot card, your overarching tarot card this week. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides for the week. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. Overarching energy, please, for Scorpio. Thank you. That flew out. Okay. Oh, Ten of Cups. We like that. Okay. That's your overarching energy. My goodness. So I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Scorpio. Okay, so starting with the challenge position, can we pull three cards to Scorpio, Angel Spirits Guide, 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021, please. What do we have for our lovely Scorpios? Thank you. Cards turned over, two cards actually. So six of swords and the ace of swords in the challenge position. Knight of cups is advice from spirit. And the eight of wands. Hmm. It's your near future outcome. So let's clarify, go deeper into the message of Scorpio. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Angel Spirits Guides for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. Okay. Interesting. Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups in your challenge position. Knight of Cups, we have with the Three of Cups. And the Eight of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles here, Scorpio. Gemini Taurus for me as a reader. Knight of Cups is Pisces. Male or female energy. I'm going to get one more for that King of Pentacles. Okay, we've got the World. Bottom of the deck, we've got Justice. Let's clarify the overarching Ten of Cups for Scorpio, please. Let's clarify the overarching Ten of Cups. So I've got two, two cards there. We have the Two of Wands and the Magician. Knight, I'm, I'm going to clarify this Justice with another deck. Let me just get the other deck. Let's clarify this Justice. It's a card of Libra. Clarify this justice for Scorpio, please. Queen of Wands, card of Aries. Um, it feels this can also be your energy in a way, you know, with that Mars energy. Um, let me get one more for that one. Yeah, Two of Cups. I was kind of feeling that energy. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. It's interesting. What I'm getting is that something happened here. 
either within the relationship or something. It can also be something external has affected your relationship. Um, I'm going to start here, Scorpio. It's interesting. I just want to start with these cards because, you know, we've got two tens which generally represents completion, um, the end of a situation. And certainly the sorry, two tens, we've got the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of stress, anxiety, worry. But, you know, it's one step away from a ten. And it's interesting, I've got the Ace of Swords. It's almost kind of like there is an energy of something is, is not far from coming to a close. Something where you've been stressed has caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry, either within your relationship or something external has affected your relationship. Uh, because the Ten of Cups can be a card of the happy ever after. It's the blissful relationship, the, the card of, of the happy ever after. Two people who match each other absolutely perfectly a significant period of time to do with this relationship you know it's generally marriage or a long-term committed relationship family uh worked hard to provide the financial setting get the home you want you know and you know life's good life is wonderful with the ten of cups but it doesn't feel it's so wonderful with the nine of swords something has caused you really dominated your mind preyed on your mind even um to the point where you just uh, something negative has come in and disrupted that either within the relationship or something external affecting the relationship and for some of you there is an opportunity to heal there could be some decision that you're not clear about quite yet in terms of how you move forward how you release from that stress and that's what that ace of swords is bringing to you the clarity how do i move forward in this situation and i'm seeing the two of wands so there's a decision that either is to do with a relationship or affects a relationship but it certainly means in this situation that it will enable you to move from choppy waters to calmer waters better times ahead restore equilibrium and balance so I like the energy for that reason here, Scorpio, but it feels for some of you, the Ace of Swords can be about clarity. But I'm getting, certainly with this Nine of, of Swords, it just feels like some of you need the clarity to make a decision. And it might well be that you're not quite clear in terms of which way you want to go in the challenge position. But you know that you want to bring an end to the stress, the anxiety, the worry. I mean, this can be a breakthrough energy as well. Um, there could be some breakthrough. Uh, something happening here that allows you to detach from stressful times in whatever context for you. Now, the Knight of Cups with the Three of Cups. Yes, the Knight can be about somebody expressing their feelings, offering love, um, Certainly in terms of, you know, I mean, the Three of Cups can be a card of uh, communication. Um, people who have a strong bond together, you know, there could be some communication here. And it's to do with whatever this knight is offering you, what he's bringing to the party. He's, the knight generally brings change. So they're hoping that wearing their heart on their sleeve, expressing how they feel, offering love, kind gestures, calling what you will, is going to bring positive change. You know, this can be a card of reasons to celebrate the winter is over, the spring is here. So it can be good in terms of love, romance, relationships, coming through a difficult time. But... You know, the night can also be creative opportunity as well. So again, it could well be something coming in, some kind of offer um, that is bringing happiness, something that's absolutely connected to your heart. And that brings happy change. So again, for some of you, it, like I said, these are general readings, you know. It's not like, a, you know, I'm, I'm asked a specific question and I'm responding as a reader. This is a general reading in terms of what I'm seeing in the cards. And I, I kind of generally say what I feel here. And that's what I'm feeling between those two cards, because I kind of think it's either something that has affected you from the external or it's within your relationship.
The Eight of Wands is a card of shifts, progress. Um, can be a card of conversations bringing change as well. Conversations, news, information. I mean, that can be to do with opportunity here. Can be to do with business, career, finances. It can also be, obviously, in making headway in a relationship for some of you. And it feels whatever difficult cycle that you've been experiencing here within the relationship or, you know, something affecting your relationship, there's, there's, and this can be out of the blue, a swift change, uh, it can be with news, information, uh, conversations, it brings transformation, you know, because the world card is a card of completion of a cycle, stepping into a new phase of your life, um, and again, the King of Pentacles generally represents stability, security, success, safety. So, like I said, if there's been any money areas affecting your relationship, this is about winning. This is about goal achievement. This is a card of accomplishment, success, celebration again. So, you know, two celebratory cards here. There could be something to celebrate, either coming through a difficult time in a relationship or, like I said, something that's affected it. Um, kings can also offer you opportunity. So again, for some of you, that might be the case. So it feels very beautiful, feels very beautiful. That card of, of Libra, the justice card, yes, it can be to do with legal situations, government institutions. I'm feeling in this situation here, Scorpio, it's more to do with getting balance back um, and also someone's actions. You know, this is about cause and effect. Actions have consequences. And it feels somebody wants to take the action and do the right thing to reconcile in love, romance, relationships. It also I also feel in this situation there could well be, I mean, this could be you as well, the Queen of Wands, male or female. But there could be some offer or opportunity that restores balance in your life, you know, somebody reaching out, offering you something. But this can be reconciliation, get, you know, getting back on track, you know, a happy exchange, uh, you know, a bond between two people. It definitely feels in the energy here. Either somebody wants to do the right thing and make something right when they've caused a lot of stress, anxiety, worry, or the anxiety, worry is going to be uh, you're going to bring your life back into balance. The worry is going to be released. You're going to be able to put it behind you because there's news information. It can be a monetary thing, like I said, with the King of Pentacles um, in terms of money, career, finances. So it feels very beautiful. Either way, there you are the magician this week. The magician is somebody who takes control of that which is in his power to control and focuses upon it to how to change a negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. So transformation is available to you this week. You are the manifester. Whatever you focus in terms of manifesting, you can make it happen. And that's what the magician is all about. It's about working your magic because certainly there are two paths. This can be to do with um, a choice between two paths, which way do you go? You know, if you're offered something, if there's news coming to you, there may well be some decision with relation to how you take action. Again, the Queen of Wands is all about action. Somebody who trusts their instinct and is guided to make the right choice. So it definitely feels like there are two paths. Choose wisely here. How? Because what you want to manifest is available to you. And it feels... For some of you, it definitely feels you have the opportunity to get a relationship back on track, either from something like money, career, finances affecting your relationship or something going on within your relationship where you're wanting to get the stability back and just put what has been a challenging cycle behind you. Because the nine of wands, sorry, the nine of swords is, you know, you're one step away. And again, when you get that clarity, it, it feels like you're ready to just put it behind you and step forward into a new phase into that new beginning that the Ace of, the Ace of uh, Swords promises. And the Ten of Cups is to do with, again, blissful relationship, happy ever after card. Um, 
it's, you know, this is a card of, of productivity, Scorpio. It's a card of relationships take work, providing for a family takes work, you know, affording the home you want takes work. You know, it's, it's two people who will put in the effort in all aspects to deliver their rainbow of blessings. So it feels in this situation there is some choice in terms of how you want to move forward. But I'm definitely getting in this situation there is an opportunity for balance to be restored here. Yeah, it, it just feels very, yeah, again with that two, the twos, I mean, again, there could be a choice here. It feels like some choice here, but it definitely feels in this situation you're presented with some kind of choice. And the message is choose wisely, choose wisely. Because certainly with justice, it's a karmic energy and karma, karmic energy is our actions will have consequences that can be good. It can also be bad. And, you know, this is an energy of make sure you make the right choice for you. Powerful energy. But there is an opportunity with the magician to unfold a new path here. And it definitely feels somebody is offering you a sense of renewed love. Um, happiness or an offer or an opportunity to consider. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message for Scorpio, thank you. Yeah, you see? Healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has the natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Healing. Six of Swords. Um, putting it behind you and just moving to better times but I hope you enjoyed it if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time thank you